Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Vivian, but you can call me Viv, and I talk all about binge eating, emotional eating, overeating, yo-yo dieting, losing and gaining the same 20 to 30 pounds, and thinking about food 24-7, and feeling like there is something wrong with you because you are always thinking about food and your body. That is what we talk about here on this channel. And if you relate to any of the things that I just mentioned, I am sending you so much love and strength encourage and I just want you to know that you are going to overcome this. I have full faith and I say that as somebody who struggled with binge eating and yo-yo dieting for over 10 years and so many moments on my path I lost faith that this was ever something that I was going to be able to heal from but I'm going to tell you right now that it was possible for me and when I was in the weeds and I was in the thick of it, I just couldn't see that. I couldn't see that because I was in so much pain. And so that may be where you are right now, but I'm here to tell you that you will, you will absolutely overcome it. I have full faith. And if that's something that you can't see right now because you're in the thick of it, just know that when those clouds clear, you will have faith in yourself too. But anyways, what I want to talk about with you in today's video that helped me on my path to overcoming binge eating was the realization that if I mess up, mess up meaning if I slip back into old binge eating habits or I'm struggling with those binge eating thoughts or temptations of food, that means I'm on the right path. That means I am on the right path. I heard this quote that to go from a weak man to a strong man, you must fall. You must fall along your journey because it is the act of falling and getting back up that creates that creates a strong man. It is the act of falling down and having the courage to get back up and try again that strengthens your mind, your body, your character, your heart, and your soul. And I say that because I fell down so many times. I would do so great a week without binging, and then fall right back into old habits. And I used to think that meant I was a failure. I used to take that as evidence that I would never overcome this. And it wasn't until I had the realization that falling down was God and the universe's test for me to see how strong I really am, how committed I really am to my healing. Because if I was willing to have the courage to get back up every single time I fell down, I fell back into old binging habits or I started stressing about food or my body. If I was willing to get back up on that horse and have faith that yes, I learned a lesson. This was a positive experience and I can take something good away from this lesson, this experience, this stumble. If I had the courage to do that, that meant that I was, I was practicing the faith that I needed to get to, to become the person that I wanted to be, that I knew was inside of me. The person who has a beautiful and positive relationship with food, a positive relationship with her body, a positive relationship with life, who feels good and fit and lean and so beautiful and confident in her body. And in the beginning, oh my goodness, I was so far from that. I would stress about my food and body 24-7. So the idea of my ideal and higher self, it 
yes, felt so far-fetched, but every single time I messed up and got back on it, I binge ate on an entire box of pizza. And the next meal, I decided, you know what? I am going to just have a normal, healthy meal. I'm not going to restrict myself because I know that when I restrict, that's coming from a lack consciousness, a fear consciousness, a I am not enough, so I need to starve myself consciousness. No, I'm just going to choose a healthy meal that makes me feel good. I'm not going to worry about the calories. I'm just going to nourish my body and treat myself like I would my best friend. Would I starve my best friend? No, I would just say, hey, let's nourish you. Let's make choices that's going to make you feel good. And the more I was able to make choices that were in alignment with love and faith in who I wanted to be, who I knew I could be in my ideal self, that is when everything changed for me. That is when all of the stumbles and struggles finally had meaning to me finally I could see the lesson the beautiful positive lesson that God in life was trying to give me rather than oh my god I mess up again I need to starve myself and then starve myself get super hungry binge again and just be stuck in the cycle which is literally what I did for 10 years and it wasn't until I had the faith and the trust that Every stumble was here for a reason. Every stumble was a sign that I was getting better and that I was learning something. But I did have to stop and pause and ask, what was the lesson here, God? What was the lesson here, universe? What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? I am ready. I'm open. I'm humbling myself and I'm ready to listen to what lesson you have to give me. And it wasn't until I was willing to let go and open up to whatever the universe was trying to tell me, whatever lesson life was trying to give me, that I was then able to take that lesson, practice that lesson, and stop finally having binge eating episodes and finally develop the positive relationship with food that I so badly, so badly desired, so badly desired. And this process is so much more than just do A, B, C, D, E, X, Y, Z. I mean, if you are watching this video, you've probably done that. You've cut the carbs, you've eaten the protein, you've hit the, the protein goal, one gram of pro, uh, protein per pound of body weight, you've hit your fiber goal, you counted your calories. You know the A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z process, but what you don't know is the emotional surrendering that that side of this journey, that is the side that you're missing. That is the side that I was missing for 10 years. And it wasn't until I embraced that soft, kind, gentle, loving, trusting side that I was able to finally overcome binge eating, which is what I was trying to do for so long with structure and discipline and willpower, which clearly wasn't working for me. And it doesn't work for 99% of us. We think more discipline, more willpower, that's what we need. Yet we've been stuck in this binge eating restricting, same weight forever, and we are not hearing the lesson that God is trying to give us, which is Girl, your way of self-discipline and being hard on yourself and hating yourself and being critical, it ain't working. It's not working. So you need to humble yourself and open up to the lesson that I'm trying to give you. And the way you open up to the lesson that God and the universe is trying to give you is to quiet your mind that's trying to tell you, okay, now you need to do this amount of cardio and this amount of weights. Quiet that mind and sit in silence and put your hand on your heart and ask your intuition, ask God, what lesson are you trying to give me that I was close to closed off to hearing before that I am now opening to receiving? What lesson is that? I am here, I am humbling myself, and I am now willing to hear what you have to say. I am now willing to learn and evolve and love myself the way that I know that you do. Now, I want to say that I am not religious. I, I didn't grow up religious. My parents were, well, my dad says he's nothing. He just likes to learn about all religions. But I have really developed this connection with a higher power, something more than me. And I always thought that all of this just fell on me. And it wasn't until I realized that I am not alone in this journey. There is this loving power and source that is always, always with me. 
and this is just this is a very recent realization that has completely changed my life and you know again if you're in the place that I was where it was it's all on you it's all about your self discipline and your willpower and just beating yourself and being so hard on yourself just know that whether you believe in a higher power or not or anything else that's with you on your journey I am with you on your journey all my hundreds of YouTube videos watch them I hope they help but I am with you on your journey in every way that I can be all right so if you want to overcome yo-yo dieting once and for all if you are ready to put your heart and soul into yourself and your body and your relationship with food and you are ready for the support and the love and the accountability that I have for you on your journey, then please visit my website at www.teamevolve.co and submit an application form to work with yours truly. I would absolutely love to work with you if you are willing to put that time and energy finally into yourself and what you deserve. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, then you can follow me on Instagram at Vivian No and on TikTok at Vivian No. Oh my goodness, with an underscore at the end. It's actually a miracle that I'm allowing myself to cry on camera right now because the old me would have never done that. The perfectionist binge eating Viv that was hard on herself would have never done that. So this is like a very beautiful amazing moment for me. Um, if you would like to see other binge eating content from me and other tips that have helped me overcome it and develop a positive relationship with food and with my body, then go ahead and click this video right here. And otherwise, it is fate that we are sitting here together and that I have the pleasure of talking to you and hopefully teaching and helping you on your journey. So just thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Bye guys.